Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over, guess what? Songs that came out this week in EDM. We've got 23 of them this week. I put them into five different categories based off of my own opinion. Obviously, this is my opinion on everything. And again, as always, all of these songs are in a link down below in the Spotify uh, playlist. Make sure you sort by recently added. But uh, let's hop into it. No trash this week. No category, no songs in the trash category. But we do have a song in, a uh, couple in bad. And we're going to start with uh, Don't Let Me Down by Dr. Ushu. Sadly, let me down. I would say I was a little harsh on his last Monster Cat release by putting it in trash. I don't know if it really deserves that, but um, his style just really is, is not for me, I would say. The, the persistent screeching synths are just, they, they feel too piercing and too un musical to me almost in a, in a way. I don't know. There's barely any tonal variation in those synths too. And the, the low end is just inactive on the track. And I just didn't, didn't enjoy this one personally. Didn't enjoy it. But um, yeah. Next, we've got a Switch by Riot 10 and Wales featuring Nat James. Uh, the synth here is like a ticking clock. It's like a, for the leading up to it, it's like got the sound of what you would hear on like a really old school clock going back and forth. And it's kind of remixed and processed in a way that makes it a little bit more intriguing for the drop ends. But yeah, I, thought, just thought, I just thought it was really weird style sonically. It just felt uh, like it was a little all over the place. Um, got your kind of classic growls in here, but even those felt a little too relaxed and a little too off in the whole mix. I don't know. This whole thing, it just felt weird to me and just odd is the best way to put it. It was like, it was like uncomfortable, maybe. I don't know. But uh, then we've got Reasons by Excision, Wooly, and The Devil Wears Prada. This is your kind of, I'll say it again a lot, uh, your kind of basic mellow dub slash rock fusion. Uh, the off drops are definitely the best thing about this track, I would say for sure. Uh, and the hard dubstep drop in the middle was a bit of a mess. And I think this track would have been much better uh, without that, if that was just cut from the track. Now we've got Out of the Rain by The Fat Rat and uh, Shia Mizell. I'm not sure how to say that at all, but this is a bit of a quirky track. The vocals feel a little bit too detached from the track. It feels like it, it's something totally different than what is actually being produced here. It's got a bit of a bubbly production that doesn't really go anywhere. And uh, that is The Fat Rat. Then we've got Alan Walker's NCS uh, Return with Dreamer. Uh, yeah, I this track, again, just like some of the other ones this week, feels... It feels off. It feels something just is is strange where there's something missing. There's a puzzle piece that's gone and it can't be found anywhere and I don't know what it is. Um, it doesn't kind of, I mean, the track doesn't really build and or fall. It just sort of goes. It's, it's fairly linear. Uh, and honestly, it just feels like Alan Walker phoned this in. It felt like NCS reached out and said, hey, Alan Walker, want to come back? And he was like, sure, here's a demo track that I have that I didn't really finish. Here, put put this out and people will love it. So um, it, it, he also says it's a callback to the early days of NCS, but it just doesn't sound like that. So that is that. Then we're moving into the meh category songs that I thought were just meh. We've got <laughs> Girthquake by Fowler. Uh, this is a simplistic and meme track. He's been on the <laughs> kind of run of meme tracks as of late while still being serious to some extent. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a deep tech house hybrid, but not too much going on. It felt a little bit too repetitive uh, for me here. Then we've got Dodo by Meganeko. This is my uh, my first listen to, I believe, Meganeko is how I say it. But uh, yeah, in the third Chompo release from Tokyo's new label slash battle pass thing. And uh, yeah, I can really feel the 8-bit influence on here. And it's got a bit of a melody and breakdown, very, very similar to a Stephen Walking style track. Um, Stephen Walking will also later show up on uh, Chompo. So on season, season one Chompo, at least, so. Then we've got Pretty People by Dylan Francis featuring Inji, I want to say. Uh, I-N-T, I-N- INJI. Uh, vocals are pretty trash from that person, not gonna lie. I don't think it's that good. Uh, the beat isn't too bad, but defi defi definitely is basic as hell, as I stumble my words. Uh, the drop sections are are definitely the best parts of the track, though, uh, because uh, there's not really much singing there. So I don't know. I just really did not like the vocals here, but I thought the rest of it was okay. Then we've got Talk To You by Blank featuring Sophia Quinn. This one uh, didn't really hit for me. Uh, it's another kind of nothing burger from Blank. Uh, and I don't know, the back half felt a little bit more interesting than the first half did, but I just think it was a bit too basic for my liking. Then we've got Save Me from Myself uh, by Nurko featuring Kylie Hume, or Kyle Hume, sorry. Uh, I feel like a broken record when I'm saying this, especially with the last blank track too, but um, this this mellow dub structure is so overdone. It's so overrated. Um, the glitchy vocals on the pre-drop, the melody line, the builds, everything just sounds so similar. 
and uh, it's just so same samey, and it's just here and mad. It's not bad. It's just the it's just the same thing over and over again. Uh, and then we've got Whenever I Want by Muramasa. The Rim Shots are the name of the game here with this track. Uh, a tad longer than I think it needed to be. Uh, and uh, this has a real kind of troublemaker vibe to it, I would say. The vocal sample used is maybe a, a touch too much, a touch too often in the track. But um, other than that, uh, not too bad. Then we've got Begin by Fairlane and Britt Laurie, a light track with, I would say, little variation all throughout. Uh, another safe cut from Fairlane, uh, and his discography has been a little bit more safer, I would say, as of late. But uh, yeah, this is kind of your commercial future-based side of things, and uh, I thought it was uh, I thought it was okay. Then we've got Streets by Riot. Uh, this <laughs> this edgy, minimalistic dubstep uh, is, is really not working for me from Riot. It's their kind of new sound that they've been getting into. Uh, I get that they're trying to differentiate differentiate that sound, but it just it feels so lifeless. Uh, that being said, this is kind of here on the top end of meh because I think this is the best of their new sounding tracks, the new era of Riot. But uh, still not really loving it a whole ton, but this one, not too bad. Uh, then we're getting into the good category, the good category. No standouts this week, just good. Uh, we've got Feel Good by Yoltron. Um, this is a very melody-centered hard dance track that is uh, kind of, as its name implies, a, a feel-good track. Um, the second drop is a great mix-up, and this was a uh, stylistically a change from what I had known from Yoltron in the past, so uh, I, I enjoy this one. I've got Ain't Coming Back by Drinks On Me. This is a uh, kind of linear track with a low-end focus. It's kind of got his signature signature per percussion sounds uh, mixed in all throughout, but uh, fairly, fairly chilled out, and uh, it will land in good for me, though. Then we've got It's Our Destiny, the night punk remix, originally by Imanu and Kuchka. This is a primarily a trap remix from Night Punk, which is a little different than I guess what his normal stuff is, but uh, keeps a lot of the same energy from the original, but spreads it out more in the song, more structurally, I would say, and uh, is a tad underwhelming, all things considered, I would say. But uh, yeah, that's a Night Punk remix. Then we got Tell Me a new by Ford. Uh, this is your bread and butter trip chill track, uh, more on the ethereal side of things. It's uh, quite a calming, quick little cut, I would say. Then we've got Dizzy by Sofa Sound and very, yes, a very funky sig single here. Uh, very bass uh, focused instrumentation with an accompanying bright synth and just a very breezy production all around. Uh, solid cut there. Then we've got Solstice by Inzo. The uh, This is a very uh, soft nature-esque track. Uh, it's very happy and up, and I'm excited to see how it plays into the whole Earth Magic EP. And uh, I'm, it makes me more excited for it, actually, uh, the, this track. There's not uh, there's no vocals. It's kind of just this very calming nature sound, but um, I thought it was very solid. Then we've got Skybender by Memba and Vin Dawn. The Union EP is out now by Memba, and this is a, another cruising track with a trap foundation that is kind of uh, your classic sound from Memba at this point. It's got a constant steady beat with uh, deeper vocals from Vin Dawn, and uh, this is, I wouldn't say a highlight on the EP for me so far, but uh, still a solid track. And our penultimate track of the week is Kintsugi by Amnes and Artemis Orion. I, th I think I'm saying any of those, right? Let's see. Uh, but this is a plucky track with very heavy bass lines. Uh, this is a fairly undiscovered artist, at least in uh, Amnes. And uh, I've explored a little bit of what their sounds are, and I think they deserve some more recognition. It's kind of got a trip-hop trap sound of sorts, kind of a mix between the very chill kind of underground sound and that very classic trap idea. And uh, I, I really like this one. So there was a uh, solid track. Uh, also, I lied. That was not the penultimate track. This is the penultimate track. It is Vermin by Boss Fight. Uh, very subtle Arabian backdrop to the whole thing here. Not nearly as explosive as Boss Fight is normally, but it transforms to a really intriguing uh, breakbeat track in the back end. And uh, it was a very different structure and sound from Boss Fight overall, but I, I still really enjoyed it. And I liked the, I liked the mix up. And our number one song of the week was Lightbringer by Skybreak. Skybreak's debut Monster Cat track was a bit of a mixture of the kind of hard-hitting melodic dubstep and color bass, while not leaning too far into color bass, uh, but still hitting hard. It wasn't as, uh, I would say, expansive narratively as some of the other Skybreak tracks are, but uh, kind of kept going front to back and didn't really let up at any point. And um, kind of the double, triple, I need mean, quadruple fake out in that second half. Uh, like I said in my reaction video, the second half, second drop, 
drop is really nasty, or I should say the final, the final back end of the track, uh, really nasty, but it's just a little too short for me, uh, for, for it to have landed and stand up for me personally. But, uh, yeah, those are the songs that came out this week in EDM that I wanted to talk about. Uh, let me know what you think of them, uh, any and all comments in the comment section below. Other than that, I've been Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another.